you may be in a place where you're saying, John, I do not know which field I should go. Okay, in my previous episode, I was talking to you on the aspect of going to the field and only in your field you will experience God's favor. It's in the field that you will see God do something in and through your life. It's in the field that you will experience, uh, you know, the provision for your vision. You're going to see God bring you resources and He's going to bring divine connections. That's all true. But there's another question that may be bugging you and that may be, John, how do I know which is the field I need to go? If that describes you, I want you to stay tuned because God is going to speak to you through this as well. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Just want to decree and declare that God has amazing things in store for you as well. Do uh, check out my daily podcast where the grace of God, they're doing really well, making an impact for the kingdom of God. And you can also check out the other podcasts getting dubbed into other languages. You can also check out my regular content on this various social media platforms. Check out my books, check out my weekly radio program. I'm sure all these things will be a great blessing to you guys. All details are in the description as well. Now, in my previous episode, I was talking to you about how you're going to experience the favor of God, not when you are just sitting at home or being in a place of complacency, but when you are bold enough to get to the field assigned by God for you, when you're bold enough to put yourself out there, when you're bold enough to go out of the way, step out of your comfort zones. And today you may be in a place where you're saying, John, I don't understand which field I should go. Coming back from the story of Ruth, you have to remember something, first and foremost, that favor upon Ruth was evident. Favor of God. That's so true. Here's the thing. She takes the initiative in verse 2 where she tells um, Naomi, I'm going to go to the fields and pick up the leftover grain upon anybody whose eyes I find favor. She was just looking for somebody. She didn't know there was a man called Boaz. She did not know that there was some place to go. Uh, I mean, I mean, I was just thinking Naomi knew about Boaz, but Naomi didn't even tell Ruth, go to Boaz's field. So Ruth did not know who was Boaz. Naomi just says, go ahead, my daughter. And as she went, she went to a field and began to glean behind the harvesters. And here's the verse I love the most. Verse 3. As it turned out, she was working in a field belonging to Boaz. I love this because different translations talk about this in a different way. Uh, one of the uh, translations I, I, I really, really uh, liked was saying this, that and as it happened by chance, she just happened to be in the field owned by Boaz. She didn't plan on it. She didn't think through it. It just happened by chance. She took the initiative to go, but even when she did not know about it, God was still orchestrating the steps. I want you to understand something here. You, when you do not know or you do not have a direct, uh, in a word from the Lord on giving you a certain specific direction from the Lord, you just go by how God leads you. And you have to remember that God knows how to lead you to be at the right place at the right time you cannot make that happen you cannot plan that with a million uh, uh, ways of doing it you cannot manipulate that to into happening it's only by God and it's so amazing that the Bible says in verse 4 as she was there Boaz said I ride from Bethlehem and greeted the harvesters isn't that interesting that it was all you know, as if it was pre-planned, but exactly when Ruth was in that field, not knowing where she was. Some of you may be in a place where you're saying, I do not know if I'm in the right field, but I'm here to announce to you, you are where God wants you to be. You may not understand it. You may not feel it. You do not. Ruth did not know she was in Boaz's field. She did not know who Boaz was. You do not know where God has placed you, but God knows. So trust him. While Ruth was in Boaz's field, remember, Ruth didn't go to the field looking for Boaz because she did not know who Boaz was. Because this is something many people need to understand. Don't go to your field looking for your Boaz. Don't go to your field looking for provision. Don't go to your field looking for, uh, you know, 
your miracle or breakthrough or whatsoever or favor of God upon your life. Go to your field with a clear conscience where your intention is very pure. She just went just to get some livelihood or money. That's it. Just food. Her intentions were clear. And even when she did that, God took care of the rest. God made such amazing things happen in and through her life. It looked like it happened by chance. It looked like it was a coincidence that at the same time when she was in the field, Boaz happened to come to the field. But that is the way God orchestrates things. You do your part of just getting to the field. Don't worry about whether I'm in the right field or wrong field. No, you focus on getting to your field. God will take care of the rest. He knows how to orchestrate things in and through your life. Just imagine if Boaz was not going to the field that day. Or if Ruth didn't go to the field, they would have never met. If you're just not going to where God wants you to be, if you're not putting yourself out there in your field, you can never experience the favor of God. You have to get to that field. And when you go there, when you don't know where you're going, just trust God. However he leads you, whatever door opens, just go there. And just put yourself out there. And when you're in that field, right, you, you, you see, it looks like it all happened by chance. But even when she didn't know it, God's favor was making her go at the right place at the right time. It so happened that she was there when Boaz came to the field. Imagine if Boaz hadn't come. She would have thought, okay, fine, this field. Let me go to another field. She might have tried different places. But it, just because she was at the right place at the right time, Boaz says, you know what, I'm going to show you kindness. Shows her great kindness and things like that and she ends up staying there and this is also another important thing you need to remember we all think that oh fine Ruth met Boaz and the story is over no that's not actually what happens if you see she ends up I mean she ends up in the field in the beginning of the barley harvest and she ends up working there till the end of the wheat harvest. So what they roughly say is to uh, about seven weeks to almost three months, she was working there. And only after that period was when Naomi interfered and said, okay, maybe it's time for Boaz and Ruth to get together. But you have to remember something here. It's not like you just go to the field and God, where's the provision? Be rooted in the field, be planted in the field. You do your part with clear conscience and purity in your heart. God will take care of the rest. Nothing happens by chance. God knows how to orchestrate things beautifully. You have no idea how the favor of God is going to come upon your life when you're in that field. You may not understand if you're in the right field or not, but at the right time, you will understand. Even when you don't feel like it, stay in the field. Don't run off. Today, there were a lot of people today, they keep hopping from one church to another, one ministry to another, one job to another because, oh, I'm not going to the, uh, I'm not able to scale your, so I'm going to the next. No, no, you have to be planted. First of all, pl be planted, be rooted, be committed. Then you think of, okay, there are times for transitions and all of that, no doubt about it, but you be planted. Don't keep hopping, oh, this week I'm going to a different church, next week I'm going to another church. No, 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 don't go there. Be planted. Whichever field God has placed you, be planted in that. And trust God. If God wants you to be in a different place, He would give you direction. He would open the door. He would help you. That's what I want you to do. By the end of the day, it comes down to your trust upon the Lord. If you would be bold enough to trust that God will take care of you, you will experience that favor upon your life in the field that you are in. Amen. I hope this was a message that blessed you, encouraged you. Lord, I pray that this word will go forth and bear the fruit it needs to bear for the extension of your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining in. Do like, comment, share and subscribe. You can check out my daily podcast uh, or, or you can check out the other podcasts. You can check out my books, my weekly radio program. You can also get all other details uh, in the description. Connect with me through the social media platforms. Would love to hear from you and I will see you back very soon. God bless you. If your heart stops beating now, do you know where you're going? If you came face to face with death now, do you know where you're going? And this is not a message of condemnation. This is a message of hope. 
There is a God who loves you so much. He sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to come down and pay a heavy price by shedding every drop of his blood on the cross. Thank you for dying for my sins. When you believe in him, you have free gift of salvation for you. That assures us that we will go to heaven when we die instead of suffering in hell forever. I just encourage you today to make the simple step of faith and say, Jesus, I thank you for what you did on the cross. Thank you for giving me this gift of eternal life.